All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, still having trouble with the sleeping. Went to bed at 2 a.m. again, uh, but um, yeah, I mean, I feel all right now. So I think one of the other things I'm also noticing is that because my adrenaline's so high, it's also starting to kick in my inflammation. So now I'm going to be trying to modify my diet now too. So maybe if I just simply have, eat less food but still maintain my protein intake. My body will just simply just burn a lot more body fat instead for fuel. And maybe that might help with the sleeping. Uh, in addition to, like, I have to figure out, you know, uh, how to... See, the problem is <clears throat> coding is so stressful that I'm going to... I need a de-stressor game like Tarkov. So it's like, uh, what do I do? And now that Valorant's actually out, it actually looks pretty fun. There's an old, old CSGO player, you know, um, like... I wish, I mean, I was pro before there was a pro, but, I mean, back then they didn't have streaming, so there's, like, no proof of ever my deeds, which really sucks, because my life would have been a lot different, um, but, oh well, a lot of decisions I made in the past, you know, like, things would have been different, in fact, we're going to be talking a lot about that today with, uh, you know, the markets now recovering, uh, especially with Remel, so we'll go uh, over that, but, um, yeah, see, look at this shit, you know, it's like, they encourage gambling like this, but, like, you're better off with, like, other shit. Oh, well. <clears throat> so, Forsen's playing Valorant, but I think they're having server issues, of course, right? So, um, I, I still want to try to, like, um, get through this quick, because there's not really much to cover, which is actually a relief, and markets are going up. So, that's, like, the ideal situation, right? No, no news is good news. All right, so, and whatever I was coming down with yesterday, probably from my lack of sleeping enough, is entering its second day today. <clears throat> oh, and there was no free food yesterday. They said they were close. So go to the high school that's like you know, one mile away. It was actually 0 0.6 miles, but it might as well have been a mile. So like, ah, screw it. I'll just go to Target and buy food. It was actually well stocked. So now that everyone's been in lockdown for now, it must have been like a couple of weeks, right? Uh, here in New York City, maybe three weeks. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, people pretty much have stocked up on, you know, their supplies. And, you know, they've been pretty good about rationing and limiting the supply of what people can buy. You know, and it's still pretty generous, too. Like, you can buy four loaves of bread, max. You can uh, buy eight quantities of something else. Uh, and then, of course, two eggs, uh, dairy. And I forgot what the other item was. Oh, butter. Um, I can't believe people are, are literally hoarding butter. They're like, that just makes no sense to me. I still have a stack that I bought like a year or two ago that has four sticks of butter. Now it's like three and a half. I barely use it. It's like, I know I'm one guy, but like, <laughs> uh, I'm still using the first stick of butter. Like, what, what are people doing? Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, and then I also found out that coronavirus is disproportionately also affecting black people. Yeah, it actually makes sense because uh, we do have an obesity problem here. Uh, black community is no different. And number two, blacks also have a lot more adrenaline and testosterone, right? Because, again, genetics. And that is actually what causes uh, inflammation. I'm noticing I'm having the same problem, too, like even when I'm exercising. So that's also why we look at statistics. Test um, men are... are so two thirds of coronavirus death victims, and really the cases especially, but the death victims are from men, not women. Like there's an actual genetic reason for that. So, uh, yeah, it, it's some crazy ass shit. But all I know is I better, uh, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to like because I have more. I have like two, three. I have a minimum two weeks of food now in my fridge. Probably three weeks now that I'm gonna try to stretch it because I'm trying to slim down. So I'm gonna like. Um, I'm going to try and see uh, if, if I can uh, tilt the odds in my favor in case I do catch, you know, corona failures. All right. So anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week have not been released. Uh, still 13 from last week. I already refreshed this a couple of times. So this, I think, I'm going to refresh this one more time because this looks exactly like the same from yesterday, I think. Yeah, I, I thought there was something wrong. Firefox is such a terrible... Uh, Bitcoin does is down to 64.4%, very you stupid ads, uh, which is very good, all right, because we always want the altcoins to rise. For the first time in a long time, 24-hour volume is now 168.2 billion. So I think that stimulus money is is finally is finally uh, uh, coming around. This, uh, report this ad, oh, 
I can't report for scam. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. I <laughs> now I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do this. I'll just say not interested in sex. It's actually a scam, but <clears throat> excuse me. Well, it's important to burp in my case so that I don't get uh, the crazy hiccups. Right? You know, once I figured that out, I was like, why am I getting hiccups so much? Because I used to suppress the burp, and then. Uh, yeah, and, and I would just hiccup the entire video. It was so irritating. <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, I think the, I think the chart pattern on the right, like, the price pattern is not correct. It's supposed to be, uh, showing up, but, oh, I don't care. Bitcoin's back up to 77313 bucks. Very good. So, we're already on the march back. As we'll soon see, the markets are also coming back. Litecoin's at $46.22, also very good. Yeah, again, ignore the price lines on the right. It's not drawing properly again for some reason. Donkey Coin, 247, uh, basically 248 million market cap, up 3.79%, very good. Uh, Steam is kind of just uh, hanging around, 17.56 cents. I still kind of wish it would just list Hive here, but uh, it's like, it's so annoying. And I don't want to open extra windows because that's just more... That's just more crap for uh, Firefox to do, uh, deal with. Oh wow, Hive uh, has dropped significantly. Right? 11.3 cents. Huh, that's unusual. Hmm. Oh, damn. So that means all that... Damn, so all the Hive that I bought, you know, is now like worth shit. You know, like, you know, what, what, what the hell? This is supposed to be better than Steam. Well, luckily we just have both, so... Hmm. That's actually interesting. I guess I don't really care enough though, because I know it'll just bounce back. Um, let's see. Uh, Steam it. Uh, where is their Twitter? Let's see. Because Justin Sun hasn't uh, tweeted anything out since the split. <clears throat> March 7th. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, Steam announcement. 100 days in the past is the past, but future is Steam. We have been quite past. We have the team here at blah, blah, blah. This was posted four days ago. All right, I guess we could take a look at that. Uh, all right, JFC coins at six to seven, but more likely seven. Uh, 404 is at six to seven, of course. You know, not much changes there. <clears throat> uh, two by two, 59 to 60, also very stable. Compound coin has now risen to 8,000 Satoshis of a dog coin. Well, it's a little bit, uh, whatever, uh, weak. However, the max has been going up too. Now it's around 9,800 Satoshis of a dog coin. So it's actually kind of nice, actually. It's actually very nice. Uh, so I guess compound coin does prove that you don't have to worry too much about the supply or price, as long as the APR is under some form of control. Because right now it's at 250%, and it's eventually going to go back down to like, you know, half that, then half that again, half that. You know, it'll take years for it to occur, but you know, it, it, it'll happen. Bill, your makes Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, we don't care about that. Bitcoin's on fire. Uh, Bitcoin. Okay, don't care. Bitcoin leaves here in the dust in a week as whales. To be goes on a furious rant against Bitcoin. So yeah, I don't care. Uh, yeah, because you know, crypto's going up instead of gold. You know, what 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 a fucking f word loser. Right. You know, I, in fact, I've stopped posting on BitChute because, you know, I'm just getting annoyed with all the idiot uh, gold, I think they call them gold bugs or whatever. So, Whale moves 50k worth of Bitcoin, 50,000 Bitcoins at the uh, stars aligned for Bitcoin, crypto, investment space for the next, okay, whatever. Uh, investors before 215 million into quantum computing, promising 1 million qubits. Enough power to reinstate. Uh, yeah, well, quantum computing is here, so hopefully we'll have. Well, but I mean, we'll eventually develop defenses against it. And then because my game sci-fi, maybe we'll actually. Uh, use, actually, this would actually be pretty cool. Actually, this would actually tie in really well. Actually, I should look into this, even though I kind of just don't feel like reading anything today. <laughs> uh, Deutsche Bank trees around Bitcoin tied to fiat currencies. Ripple expanding crypto break could shake up before Bitcoin. Da, 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 da. First of all, the shakeout has already happened, so this is just retarded. Uh, okay, so Biden's going back down. Trump's still 49. Yeah, we're not out of this yet, but it's, things are improving significantly, so that's what matters. 
so first things first is uh, before I forget. Uh, so Remmel's now up, you know, a lot, whatever. So now it's at two thirty eight. So had I had I known what to be doing, because I basically made the calculation when Rumble goes back to its original price of like twenty seven dollars a piece or whatever, uh, and regional region financial will be like twice this. I think the total value of my stock market account will be around eighty six, eighty seven grand plus all the dividends that I, sweet dividends I'm going to be give, getting. And I'm not factoring AMZA because this stock is a fucking retarded piece of shit. I don't even care if it goes up to like a hundred dollars. It just I, I just want to be rid myself of this shit stock. Um, but yeah, it'll be worth something like that. And then like, so I basically took seven thousand, eight thousand dollars of my own money in the bank account, right? Because the region financials was like the money I had left over when I had was forced to sell uh, MRRL, and I took my like, thirty-five thousand dollar loss. So we don't count that. What we count is you know what what if you know what I put in during the bottom, right? And I make like you know, a, a trillion X or something like that. So, because at one point on Friday, right, when things were looking really bad, you know, had I been, had I had a different position, right, I would have just put in another five, ten thousand in a Remmel, right, and just take the gamble that I was going to go bankrupt. All right, and then I did the math. Basically, I would have made uh, anywhere from six hundred grand to one point two million dollars when Remmel goes back up to twenty seven dollars, right. So, you know, and that was because I think of it this way. A couple of years ago, I went into MMRL and over time I kept compounding and then I wound up losing $35,000, right? Well, what if I just did nothing and took the $50,000 that was sitting in my bank account and just put it into Remmel and doing the dollar cost averaging method, right? You know, because, you know, a little at a time. In my case, a little at a time would have been five grand, seven grand, you know, blah, 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 maybe even 10 grand. Like, you know, in fact, I probably started off with five, seven grand. And then uh, there was another day. I can't, I, I don't remember, but that's why we do these videos. Then it was a day I was pretty sure. So I would have put 10,000 in that day and so on and so forth. And then I also would have probably bought up some RF, you know, to try to get something a little stable. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know about 50 grand. Maybe I would go up to 30 grand, right? But the point is I lost 35,000 total and I got back like, Twenty-five thousand of it in dividends, right? So my net loss, my, my 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 net loss is thirty-five grand. But I actually put in fifty-five grand or whatever over the past couple of years in my shitty stock in these fucking scams, good stocks. So you know, so now I know for next time, right? But unfortunately, now that I know, I'm gonna have to wait another ten. Oh, it's gonna be another like what eight to twelve years before the next stock market crash, right? You know, because obviously we're getting a good handle on coronavirus, and now they're just got, starting to go back to. Uh, you know, the usual garbage, uh, 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 on the front. Actually, this looks like yesterday's, um, headlines. Let me refresh this one more time. Uh, there we go. Now it looks different. But, I mean, the point is, Rumble's, yeah, so, yeah, I'll get my money back, and then I'll, yeah, I'll be like, oh, wow, you're up 50k. It's like, yeah, but, I mean, I, I can burn through 50k in two, three years, right? And I have to live, like, the way I'm living now. It's like, the... You know, would you rather have 50K or $1.2 million? <laughs> okay. So I basically made a one point. I mean, it's not really a mistake because how the fuck was I supposed to know this, right? All right. So, but it's still irritating, right? Because this is a once in a decade, like in terms of stocks, it's a once in a decade opportunity, right? Cryptocurrency is like a once every few years opportunity, but it's got the payoff of lifetime payoffs. That's what's so cool about this. I guess now you could do the same thing with stocks too. So, I guess in like ten years, twenty years, I'll probably be like, you know, I'll definitely be a multi-millionaire, but I'll likely have a multi-decamillionaire kind of status. So I could probably burn a million dollars into stocks at that point, or at least like, mm, I don't know, I could probably burn like three to five hundred k at least, right? I mean, I'm not like if I had, if I'm worth twenty, if I have like twenty million dollars, then one million dollars is. 5% of my wealth, right? So would I be willing to lose $1 million? Yeah, I would. Because if I took $1 million and I, let's see, if Rumble was at $1.25 at one point, because I didn't, I didn't even buy, I didn't even know about it, that it crashed at 50 cents that until after it went back up from that. Because that's when the Sinto guy from YouTube told me about it. All right, so so we'll use the baseline one twenty five. A dollar twenty five goes up to 27 Oh, God. 
<clears throat> what kelk? Uh, all right, I'm gonna get some more vitamin C because I'm still coming down with something. So Let me just get this shit real quick. <clears throat> I seriously hate being sick. It's so annoying. Mm. Which is why I gotta accelerate this weight loss. It's like, okay, I'm trying all this stuff. What's going on? Uh, let's see, twenty-seven dollars <throat> divided by, uh, let's just say a dollar fifty a share. I would have eighteen x my money, so I would have gambled one million dollars, and then I can turn into eighteen million dollars after a few years, effectively doubling my wealth. So I would be worth twenty million. Now I'll become worth like thirty-eight million. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to do and, and look at what I do, right? It, it'd be nothing. It would be nothing because I just sit on my ass all day doing shitty videos on YouTube, and I play video games. Well, I saw, and nowadays now I program video games too. <clears throat> so, <sighs> all right, but you know what? Whatever, I'll get my money back, you know, make a little profit, you know, 50 grand, nothing to sneeze at. Now let's prepare for the next drop, you know. Because crashes always happen, just like booms always happen. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta prepare. Alright? Because the, the moment of action only takes a couple hours. Actually, a couple seconds. Once the action's over, then that's it. Alright. So, everyone now, sorry. So my guess is the markets are now factoring in the fact that we're getting better with coronavirus. It's getting warmer and cases continue to drop. That's a good thing. So uh, for us New Yorkers, um, I think we're still going to have a lockdown. As I said, yesterday. actually, I tweeted it yesterday. It was after I made the video, but Cuomo said we'll be in lockdown until the April 29th. As much as I hate that, I think we're going to have to do that. But everywhere else in America... Uh, especially if they're more spread out physically, you should definitely reopen, even if it's partial. Just get the shit back on the road. So, um, yeah. And then, yeah, I'm starting to get kind of suspicious about uh, Fauci. Because he still says we should keep uh, the lockdown in place forever. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? So, I'm now beginning to think they are trying to deliberately crash the economy and get rid of Trump. And screw everybody over, so. Um, yeah, so nothing really that I care about on the front page, but. So, yeah. So, I think that'll be actually the title of my video and my $1.2 million lesson. Yeah, I hope I do that. Uh, Washington man stopped from seeing his dying wife. That's very tragic. Probably because they don't want him uh, to get infected, too, and he'll get infected as well. Because I, because I'm thinking, because I know what's going to happen, right? Let's say I have, let's say I'm dying from coronavirus. I know exactly what's going to happen. My mom and dad are going to be screaming and like pushing. we are like, you're not going to die alone, son. And they're going to deliberately infect themselves from me, all right? Because my parents are just that irrational. And obviously, they probably thought of that. It's such a fucked up situation, but you know what are you going to do, all right? Uh, I don't know who this man is, but I would just tell him straight up, globalism killed your wife. <laughs> All right, and he might get very angry, especially if he's a liberal kind. But if it weren't for globalism, she'd be alive. Getting angry at me isn't going to bring her back. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to say? Your wife's fucking dead or dying. <laughs> so uh, it's like, like I mean, this is the problem with people. I didn't mean to click that. Oh yeah, this thing thinks I'm in Australia. Like. See, that's the thing. That's the problem with people. They they wait. Not everyone, but most people I run into, they wait until it's too fucking late. Hmm, that actually rhymes. Like I don't understand, and then they want to get mad at me. All right, I lived my entire life, you know, trying to avoid that. Right, still had my flaws, and of course, if I actually was taught the proper word about you know Jesus Christ and God, and not the stupid shit that I've been hearing all this time. Um, you know, yeah, I would definitely be worth 
I mean, I'd definitely be a millionaire now, but I think I could be in more ten, twenty million dollars by now, pretty easily. Right? I would have gotten ready, invested very well in the stocks in the bottom of the two thousand eight crash. Right? Get ready for that. You know, not do foreign currency trading, all that shit. You know, buy my time for years. Then my best friends at the time, or now ex best friends, would have, they would have told me about Bitcoin, and then I would have had a financial position to go. Hey, you know what? I got some spare money. I'll spend a couple grand mining Bitcoin because I also used because back then you didn't have ASIC miners. You had to use your computer, which is perfect for me because we were all video gamers. So we always had the latest technology to play the best video games. And that just so happens that you need the best. That also is the best way to mine Bitcoin. So I've gotten rich off of that. Become a millionaire if I didn't. Or actually, yeah, I would have become a millionaire. Right. I want to multiply my income from 30 to 50k and then when bitcoin bottoms out in like 2011 or whatever that was right i probably would probably have my first uh i definitely would have moved out of my parents finally probably moved to a different place maybe buy some commercial property in florida because i always thought about moving to florida now yeah, could again new york city in, it's just too liberal for me for obvious reasons and um yeah, and then by my time again, I eventually discovered proof of stake mining, right? 2016, 20s, whatever. Then we all know what happened there. I took $500, put it in an 808 coin, turned it into. I, I'm, I'm not going to say. Oh, yeah, I was about to say the number. Uh, a very nice chunk of six figures, and that's where I'm at now. So let's see. That's like a. Uh, oh, yeah, I was about to say the X return that you're going to be able to figure it out through math. Because I know a lot of you that watch me are smart people. So, uh, actually, yeah. The more I learn, the more I realize, yeah, I could really have any life that I want. I'm completely limited to the, you know, intelligence and creativity that's up in here. You know, and if I'm retarded, then yeah, I get what I deserve. <laughs> it's actually quite fitting, right? So yeah, so uh, so yeah, I, I really do like that line, like what Jesse Lee Peterson says. It sounds harsh to begin with, but it's really not when you accept it for what it is, right? We all get what we deserve. Yeah, that's true. But the, here's the problem: people always assume you get what you deserve in terms of bad things. What people don't realize is you also get what you deserve when you do good things, right? We just call it karma. Well, so you make the right decision. Guess what? You get what you deserve when making the right decision. You get, you know, God's abundance. And that's actually pretty cool. All right. So anyway, let's, let's look at this. Uh, I know we got to look at these articles too. God. Uh, new Steam Discord. Um, we'll, we'll do this real quick. Um, they're doing a 100-day plan. Uh, difficult times, coronavirus, blah, 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 blah. Maybe still we'll move on to Hive. Well, not if Hive's, pro yeah, Hive's, Hive is like worth shit right now. So I wouldn't be tra uh, talking trash. Uh, quantum computing. I don't want to sound arrogant here, but I really don't care about people's criticisms. I could care less if someone's got five to a hundred qubits, video a million. Tell me how close you are in time and money to that. That's what we've done. Okay. Uh, quantum computer encryption researcher at Imperial College uh, told Florida that Google is far from cracking Bitcoin. Currently, it's 53 qubits. They don't have any effect on Bitcoin in most financial systems. It would take at least 1,500 qubits. And the system must allow for the entanglement of all of them. Comment on Google's regular Cardano period called Quantum the rocket science of our time. Pushing engineers around to solve a whole new class of problems that period will take time in the universe to solve. Sai Quantum's proposal of game changer mail qubit system where report you take over the current conference room. Okay, wow. Sai Quantum has raised $230 million from several investors. Holy shit, they are pu pumping a lot of money into quantum computing. Also, it's just so cool, man. Quantum computing. I think it was also a technology for Masters of Orion, too, I'm pretty sure. Quantum computing Masters of Orion. I also didn't know that Sid Meier, the guy who created Firaxis games and the Civilization games, actually co-founded Micropose. 
that made Master Ryan too. So that would explain why there's a quantum detonator here. Uh, I'm sure that, I'm sure it was something called quantum computing. Uh, what? Oh no 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 no! I want to search this thing specifically. There's a quantum detonator. Let's see. How about computers masters of Orion two research? Um, let's see. Uh, hyper cybertronics. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's just look for the word quantum. Oh, they don't actually have the word quantum computing here. Oh, I guess I confuse it with um, Star Trek, but I'm definitely gonna have quantum computing in my game. Uh, so it's in, fa in fact now that I'm reading a lot of other te uh, terminology, uh, we're gonna just we're gonna make this part of the course. I can just describe what's going on. Because I still want my science fiction to also have as much science fact as possible. So it's not only relatable, but it also becomes more future proof. So like in 10, 20, 30 years, people will go back. Oh, yeah, this fucking guy's game, Judson Chan's game. Like I already talked about it like a long time ago. It's kind of like how Deus Ex predicted the future. How Metal Gear Solid 2 predicted the future. Like they literally did. <laughs> it's so cool. So I'm kind of hoping I can kind of make something like that too, you know. To honor, uh, to honor the awesomeness of the games. So, uh, yeah. Dial up 18. Oh, yeah, and my game actually works pretty cool now. I actually have a working inventory, like ba a basic one. Um, so, uh, so just a couple more videos left, and then I'll have basically a basic... I, I have all the elements that I need to make a game. And I think, like, eventually what I could do is I'll build out the game more or less completely, put it on the internet, and you just play for free. And then what happens, is, and I, don't, I won't care about cheating because it's single player mode at that point, right? So what, what do I care? And then all you do is you just keep refreshing the thing. And then what I'll do is I'll slowly implement the multiplayer stuff. And then see how that goes. Coronavirus update, Dow up 18 as begins to, uh, I just want to read what the headline says, to slow sweet embraces for mass death. Yeah, because they don't give a shit about social distancing there. Forsen was already talking about it. Excuse me. Nice thing. Oh no! Oh, God. I literally just locked myself in, in a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes for the arena, and then I just got the fucking thing to upgrade my. Now, now I won't have the benefit of having a super character. Uh, in, her, in this case, it'd be a Shokatano. Uh, yes, we can equip that. Uh, yes, equip that. Uh, do I really want to give up one of these special eyeballs, though? Um, I need a Carbonti, and I need these Mark IVs. No, Ashoka is worth it, because she's, like, insane DPS, especially when I Zeta her. So, uh, yeah. All right, anyway. Fuck, she's so much stronger now, too. I just gimped myself. I... Uh, see, uh, that's what always happens. All right, well, whatever. It, it's only going to be pain for three days anyway, so what, what, what am I going to care? All right, coronavirus live update. The U.S. records more than 1,200 deaths in a day. I mean, we know that. Harmony Dillon, coronavirus elections. Dems doing this to gain political power. That's actually true. Colorado County threatens tourists with flies. Yellow time mid coronavirus. Uh, jump near to the borrowers seek relief. Yeah, um, the Colony Capital guy said he gave up on this because he said it's going to kill us, so... but. The markets say otherwise, so uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. And of course, GBDC is just retarded. LOL at Tony Vase for being stupid. He's also like a pro gold guy too, so that's probably holding him back. Uh, I'm not going to read this whole article, but is that Taylor Swift? Oh, looked like the her. Oh, okay. It's just a similar look. Um, hey, my screen just blacked out. Hello? Testing? That, uh, okay. Um, great. I guess I'm gonna have to, I actually have to install the NVIDIA driver after this. Um, no, it's, actually, you know what? Is my thing loose? No, the, uh, I don't know, everything's plugged in. <clears throat> That's weird. 
All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to reinstall. I'm going to have to install the latest NVIDIA drivers then, I guess. All right, request to delay mortgage payments, jump near 2K, blah, blah, blah. 2K percent, yeah. So, I mean, this was to be expected. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing or about the details because, again, yes, everyone kind of knows this, especially Trump. So, I think it'll be okay. And I'm glad they're finally uh, covering this on, main, uh, on mainstream websites because now, you know, Trump can finally just go like, hey, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Especially you banking assholes. Like, you know, can you do something? So. No, so. Coronavirus face mask structures your surgeon, give those generals, blah, blah. Okay, so now people can make their own masks. That's good. Trump aid. Uh, Peter Navarro warned as many as 2 million, 1.2 million souls could be lost. All right, so. Trump has surrounded himself with these stupid fucking pieces of shit. They're literally telling. The whole world, millions will die, right? The governor of California, Gavin Newsom, initially said 25.5 million Californians could die from coronavirus. And the total amount is like, what, 13,000 deaths in California? It's like so disproportionately, you know, uh, like ridiculous. So <clears throat> MLB may play all games in Arizona to resume season. That's hilarious. So everybody will be playing in Arizona, which makes sense because it's hot there. I mean, they could also pick uh, Florida, too. It's also pretty warm there, right? Uh, coronavirus, United States. Uh, okay, I can't even see the death ca uh, panel there. Uh, <laughs> God, that sounds so awful, doesn't it? Tampa, weather, now. Mike, look how... 79 degrees, all right? Uh, let's see, New York City weather now. 58 degrees. Yeah, of course. Uh, let's see. It's going to rain tomorrow. The high today will be 64, so I could probably open the window. Uh, come on. We need to get warmer, man, so like the virus can die quicker. All right. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Oh, what an asshole. Love subscribing. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so that we can, um, oh yeah, I forgot to turn back the uh, the proxy. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Because again, uh, I don't know why people are unsubscribing because I've proven, proven right, I continue to be right, and yet people would rather just unsubscribe because they'd rather be right and lose money because they're just retarded. So, you know, but I find it, I find it really irritating that A, I can see this number constantly, and then number two, that I just can't, I, just, I didn't realize it, but stupid people really do actually trigger me pretty badly, especially when, like, they're making the same mistakes that I'm making, I'm telling you not to do it, and then for some retarded reason, you just go off and do it anyway, because you're fucking retarded, you know, it's like, what what's wrong with you? It makes me kind of wonder, like, what's going to happen, like, when you die, and then you meet Jesus Christ, or God, right, I don't know who greets you at the gate, I, I'm going to assume it's actually one of those two. All right, and then are you still gonna be retarded? And say no, I'd rather go to hell. It's like, like you can't be around. You cannot be around somebody who's that dumb. Like, or is it evil? I I don't know. I maybe they go hand in hand. But I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, not for the day. I want to get back to watching Valorant. I got some shit to do. Plus, I got family coming over to do some stuff. But I kind of want to get busy today. So. All right, lots to do, but I got the lesson. I got the lesson, right? I could. This is a, this could have been a one point two million dollar play during this uh, coronavirus shit. So, yeah. All right, but now I know my lesson. So next time around, we're, 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 you know, uh, you know, I'm gonna try to make twenty million dollars off of the next, you know, Bitcoin crash or not Bitcoin, <laughs> maybe Bitcoin crash, yes, but also, but specifically the stock market. So that's what we'll do. All right, anyway, uh, see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the uh, across-the-board market gains. It looks like we're going back to normal. Um, some parts of the world will not be normal, which makes sense, right? New York City, of course, where I live. Uh, probably dense areas of California as well, the cities, right? But everywhere else needs to start reopening, even partially. And I believe the markets are now starting to price that in. That is my most likely guess, especially because coronavirus cases and shit and the deaths, they're... The number of new deaths and cases are starting to decline. So social distancing is working. So, all right. See you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Johnson Chan.
JFC coin, 404 coin, and this is not a great picture, but you know, I'm gonna mention quantum computing, so whatever.